Hello all you YouTubers, this is Victoria with a video about soy and why it is not the health food that the media tries to tell us that it is. Uh, specifically soy protein. The problem with soy, I'm going to put all of these uh, links in the sidebar. The problem with soy are two of its components, the isoflavins genistein and diad, diad, diadzine. And uh, these are more powerful inhibitors than common antithyroid drugs. More powerful inhibitors of the thyroid than antithyroid drugs. And from another site, according to an FDA expert, additionally isoflavins are inhibitors of the thyroid peroxidase which makes T3 and T4. And T3 and T4 are what fuel our metabolism. In addition, Inhibition can be expected to generate thyroid abnormalities including goiter and autoimmune thyroiditis. And uh, from, let's see, from the same website, soy isoflavins can slow down the thyroid even in limited amounts. When someone has a fully functional thyroid, they can compensate and their thyroid will make more thyroid hormone if soy isn't consumed daily. However, if someone doesn't have a fully functional thyroid, they can't compensate. In addition, soy isoflavins can affect uptake of the thyroid hormone into the cells. So even if you have a fully functioning thyroid, you shouldn't be eating soy every day and it will still it can still affect the uptake of the thyroid hormone into the cells so why would you want to do that to yourself it's still gonna mess up your metabolism to continue if you are feeling great with the amount of soy you consume then continue doing what you are doing if not I was reading in the paper weekly health papers weekly health section that now experts are recommending no more than three servings of soy per week and keep in mind that one serving is like an 8 ounce glass of soy milk for healthy people. And that's for healthy people. If you're not healthy, you shouldn't even be having that three servings a week. And uh, it continues on, it is quite possible to have a healthy, balanced vegetarian diet with no soy at all. And many cultures do. Um, People in Japan do not consume a large amount of soy, which is one of those rumors I've heard going around. Um, if you go to the first link in the sidebar, you will see um, it'll take you to a site where it does talk about that specific issue. And I also wanted to, this is my current book that I'm reading. And it has a little section on soy in here saying, in large enough quantities, soy functions as a hormone and antithyroid agent. The isoflavins in soy belong to the flavonoid chemical family and flavonoids are considered endo endocrine disruptors, plants that act as hormones, disrupting the endocrine system. The effect of isoflavins can continue for a full three months after stopping the soy in the diet. Another study found that intake of soy over a long period, uh, it was talking about a study earlier, and then another study found that intake of soy over a long period causes enlargement of the thyroid and suppresses thyroid function. And the isoflavins are inhibitors of the thyroid peroxidase, which makes T3 and T4. So if you don't want to make as much T3 and T4 and have a screwed up metabolism and gain weight and possibly get thyroid disease, then go ahead and eat soy all you want. So um, anyway, there's more, there's more in this book on pages uh, 62 and 63, but I read you the portions that I highlighted. So um, my story is I used to eat a lot of soy because I thought it was perfectly okay. I didn't think it was a health food, but I didn't think it was bad either. And now I realize that it was very bad for me, and it may be one of the reasons that I became hypothyroid. 
and I now have to take thyroid medication because my thyroid does not function like it should. And I attribute it in part to my large intake of soy when I was um, doing a low carb diet. And it's very possible to do a low carb diet without soy, and I should have. And now I know that. I didn't know it then. People tried to tell me, and I wouldn't listen. And now I'm hypothyroid and have to take medication for life. So please, if you're eating soy, reconsider. It's not the health food that people make it out to be. And uh, I have an alarm going off here at work. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to have to get that. But anyway, it's not the health food that people make it out to be. So please, please, please don't eat soy. And if you're eating it, stop soy protein specifically because that is the worst. Soy oil and soy lecithin, um, soy fiber, those are okay because they do not have the, um, the isoflavins in them. But stay away from all forms of soy protein and vegetable protein, which is just another name for soy. All right. Thanks. Bye.